Uh, Mr. Singh, the bloc has made their conditions for continued support of this Liberal government known. Uh, the Liberals haven't yet committed to their demands, but we at least know what they are. I know you said you're not looking for another supply and confidence deal, but is the NDP's support moving forwards conditioned on anything in particular? Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate the question. So yeah, you're right. We're not looking for any deal. The deal is torn up. We're not looking for any new deal. Uh, any bill that comes forward, we're going to negotiate to find a way to get as much as possible for Canadians. So as the bill comes forward, if the Liberals need our help, we're going to negotiate to find ways to get people the help they need. Uh, but we'll take a look at every bill, every motion, and make a decision based on what's in the interest of Canadians. We're not bound to anything now. All bets are off. Uh, with the block, let's be really clear. They're looking at a minority government over two and a half years, and they got nothing done for people. They can't point to a single thing they got done. And so now they're scrambling at the 11th hour to say, oh, shoot, our electors are going to ask us, what did we get done? And they got nothing done. So now they're trying to make it like they care about pensions or they care about this or that. Uh, what we can show is we fought and got people dental care. We're moving forward on pharmacare. We got uh, workers at the federal level paid sick days. We can show a clear track record that when we are given the opportunity, we fight for working people when we get them relief. Uh, the block is now trying to sh show really clearly they got nothing done, and now they're scrambling to show that they're relevant. Uh, and clearly, the evidence shows that they're not. Switching gears a little bit, there was a new poll out from, from Abacus Data this weekend that showed your party had passed the, the Liberals outside of Quebec, but continued to trail the Bloc, the Liberals, and the Conservatives uh, within Quebec. I, I'm wondering why you think your party has struggled to make any progress in that particular province. Well, we, we know there's a, there was a two by-elections recently, and we were the only federal party in those two by-elections that were competitive, both on the island of Montreal and in the suburbs of Winnipeg. The Conservatives were nowhere, a distant fourth in Montreal uh, in that by-election. We were within a percentage point or two of winning. And in Winnipeg, uh, we beat the Conservatives despite them throwing everything at us. We showed the Canadians rejected their, their offer for Canada. And the Liberals were a distant third. Uh, so next election is going to be a tough fight, no doubt. But there's a clear choice. The cuts of Conservatives and Pierre Polyev, cutting your pension, cutting your EI, cutting your health care, or do Democrats want to strengthen health care, strengthen your pensions, want to improve EI. That's the choice. Buddy, your party's broke. <laughs>